Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Friday, July 3rd of 2020. All throughout the New Testament, all believers are called to reconcile the lost back to the Father God. So often what we face, however, is backlash from the unbelieving public because they've experienced those who preach the Word of God but don't live according to the words that they preach. Tags, such as hypocrite, are applied to us all because of the double standard or double lives our predecessors were living. We are not just called to dispense the truth of God's word, but to be a steward of truth. When others witness our private lives matching that which we proclaim in public, that's when we're able to make inroads with them and share the gospel message. So today... This morning's prayer challenges us to renounce secret and shameful ways and be stewards of the truth of God's word. Oh, Father, according to your word, we are all called to reconcile others to you through the word of reconciliation, which is also called the word of truth. In order to dispense your word effectively, we must also practice those very precepts we share with others. There is no room for a double life. There will always be people watching us, and they can spot a fraud easily. Father, people do not like frauds and phonies. Unbelievers call them hypocrites, and so does your word. We must be ready to dispense truth, but we cannot dispense what we do not own. All your children are called to be stewards of truth not just dispensers of the truth. If we in our private lives are violating what we affirm in public as a proclaimer of your truth, then we are living a double life and not being a good steward of truth. Father, help us to understand when we live a double life, we violate three basic truths. The first, we are implicitly denying your omniscience the fact that you observe our lives. Secondly, if we live a double life, we explicitly challenge your righteousness. We challenge your moral law, which is based expressly on your very character. And finally, Father, when we live a double life, we ignore your justice. We may think we're getting away with something and that justice just isn't coming. But your millstone, though it may grind slowly, it grinds exceedingly small. Paul the Apostle writes in 2 Corinthians 4, We have renounced secret and shameful ways. He also says, We do not use deceptive ways. The world is in need of real heroes, especially our young. The right kind of hero is one who is a steward of your truth. Father, may we find the right kind of hero for ourselves and be the right kind of hero for others. We praise your holy name this morning and we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.